pace of evolution for Defender is not slowing down. In fact, it's about to get faster than ever. For 22 model year, we bring our legendary V8 engine to new Defender, adding performance to its peerless capability. And that's not all. There are other enhancements for Defender, offering more personalization and technology. So let's look at them all in more detail. A V8 engine was a big part of the original Defender lineup, present in differing forms from 1979. It had a strong cult following over the decades, powering some of Defender's most iconic models. In 2018, the Defender 70th Anniversary Edition was introduced to celebrate this special birthday and provide the final flourish for the original Defender. Now, the legendary V8 Defender is back. Our proven, powerful V8 engine brings a fantastic performance character to Defender. This is the latest generation of our in-house developed 5-litre V8 supercharged engine. It produces 525 PS and 625 Newton meters of torque. It also brings an unmistakable V8 soundtrack to Defender through a new quad pipe active exhaust. Defender already looked purposeful. With the quad pipes, the V8 really emphasizes that muscularity. The engine features twin vortex supercharging and variable cam timing with a power delivery specially calibrated for Defender. It's matched to our eight speed quick shift automatic transmission, now with paddle shift. This will take Defender 90 from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in 5.2 seconds. But performance figures are only part of the story. This is also the most fun to drive Defender. Our chassis engineering team have used their industry-leading knowledge to develop a new dynamic mode as part of Terrain Response 2. It helps you make the most of the extra performance, both on and off-road. Their results are outstanding. Defender V8 retains all of the off-road credentials of the standard car, including wading in up to 900 millimeters of water. And in some situations, Defender V8's extra power makes it even more capable off-road than other models. For example, in rock crawling. To explain more, I'm joined by Adam Southgate from the chassis engineering team that achieved this. Adam, welcome. Can you take us through some of the fundamental changes? Sure. Let's start with the driveline and dynamics hardware, where there are some key changes. The first is a major enhancement to our active rear differential. This adds your control alongside traction improvements. We've also introduced larger diameter solid anti-roll bars, along with revised spring and damping rates. None of this changes the effortless ability of Defender on or off-road. It's still awesome, especially over rough or broken surfaces. And what is behind the new dynamic mode? This is probably the biggest change of all. Active technology is a core part of Defender. It's the heart of Defender's train response, essential in creating Defender's unparalleled breadth of capability. It's integrated by intelligent software design and calibration. That allows us to make a host of individual dynamic controls work in harmony and respond seamlessly to different conditions. For Defender V8, we've enhanced this software with a new dynamic mode as part of Train Response 2. On paper, dynamic mode allows greater slip angles before any stability control intervention. In practice, that means controllable oversteer, especially on loose surfaces. The software works with the EDIF to maintain a drift angle and keep Defender predictable and stable at speed. It also includes specific throttle and steering calibrations for faster responses. We liken it to an assist mode on a video game. It's empowering, not intimidating, and it allows you to explore more of Defender V8's performance envelope. It really is technology delivering a heightened, accessible performance experience. It's best to show how this is achieved in a real situation, an enthusiastic cornering maneuver. This animation shows a Defender V8 entering a corner. First, 
Dynamic mode uses torque vectoring by braking to apply inside wheel braking force to vector the driveline torque. That creates a yaw into the corner. As the driver lifts off the throttle and turns in, adaptive dynamics preemptively increases the front and rear damping rates. The resulting linear increase in front axle force allows the tyres to build their grip progressively, which aids turning. Mid-corner roll is limited by the higher roll stiffness of Defender V8 and by the adaptive dynamics. Torque vectoring keeps brake pressure on the inside wheels as the driver steers into the bend, then lowers this brake pressure as the driver reduces to neutral steering to set up a drift. As the vehicle moves further into oversteer and the driver provides counter steer, the rear e-diff starts to lock to provide your damping, controlling the progression into oversteer. The torque vectoring and e-diff work in harmony to build the drift angle up, but in a smooth, controllable way. But now for the really clever bit. Once in the slide, traction control manages the amount of engine torque to keep the wheels slowly spinning, generating grip whilst allowing the car to slide. The traction control and rear e-diff are calibrated in harmony to maximise the tractive and steering forces at all four corners whilst maintaining the slide. Adaptive Dynamics also recognises the slide and softens all four dampers to make the car more benign and easier to smoothly exit the slide. Then, as the driver straightens the vehicle to exit the corner, the Edith progressively locks up to increase traction. The damping rate increases on all four corners, allowing all four wheels to build grip. The traction control releases, allowing slightly more wheel spin as the vehicle straightens up to aid acceleration and the V8 fires the car out of the corner. Of course, this can all happen within a couple of seconds, with all systems acting together and in harmony. It really makes the V8 the Defender you want to drive. Thanks, Adam. Now, I mentioned that you can spot a Defender V8 by its four exhaust pipes, but that's not the only visual distinction. It's available in three colours, Carpathian Grey, Yulong White and Narvik Black. For each, there is the striking contrast black roof and a number of unique exterior enhancements, including Xenon Blue brake calipers, Shadow Atlas exterior detailing, and unique 22-inch alloy wheels with a satin dark gray finish. And on the interior, you'll find the satin chrome gear shift paddles unique to V8, along with a suede cloth steering wheel for greater driver tactility. The headlining and exclusive Windsor leather and suede cloth seats are ebony black. This theme continues with satin black finishes on the steering wheel, door handles, and Defender stamped exposed cross car beam. Defender V8 will be available as both 90 and 110 in two specifications, V8 and V8 Carpathian Edition. The Carpathian Edition is distinguished by its unique exterior, a contrast black bonnet, roof and tail door set against a satin wrap Carpathian grey. Beyond V8 for 22 model year, the Defender range will comprise four models. The entry point is Defender, followed by the Defender X Dynamic. Both are available in a choice of S, SE or HSE specification. Then there is the new Defender XS edition. This is a new model, replacing the popular first edition. 20% of all Defenders in the first year were first editions. And we expect the XS to continue that popularity. It's available in a curated range of colors with body color exterior claddings. Inside, you get khaki grained leather and a high standard specification packed with our latest technology. It's even available as a plug-in hybrid. Top of the standard Defender range remains Defender X, with a premium specification identified by its contrast bonnet. Defender X also features unique orange brake calipers, darkened tail lamps, and a unique interior finished in Windsor leather with steel-cut premium textile. Speaking of Defender interiors, Defender introduced our all-new Pivi Pro infotainment system. With its smartphone-inspired intuitive interface, fast responses, and software over-the-air capability. 
2022 model year Defender will introduce the option of a larger 11.4 inch PIVI Pro touchscreen. The latest word in Land Rover in-car technology. The configurable home screen puts everything you need within two taps and reduces distraction. The larger interface enhances this experience, whether controlling your media, setting navigation, or using Defender's advanced 360 degree surround camera system. One of the noticeable trends among Defender customers has been the desire to personalize their vehicle. At launch, Defender featured four lifestyle packs, which incorporated 170 separate accessories. The take upon these accessories has been incredibly high. More than half of all online customer configurations include accessories. So for 22 model year, Defender offers more option packs, an extended black pack, a bright pack, and extended bright pack will allow customers to create more personalized exteriors. For more details on all these options and accessories in your market, please speak to your Land Rover representative. This has been a truly exciting year for Land Rover and Defender. We've seen the icon reborn for the 21st century and the range expanding, attracting new customers to the Land Rover brand. Defender is a unique combination of character, capability and durability in a single vehicle. An appeal made ever stronger by the breadth of its personalization. With the additions to the range for 22 model year, we're standing true to our aim of creating a Defender for everyone. Thank you for your time.